In this movie, we'll talk about saving your file when working in iMovie. Now, it's important to understand where iMovie saves your files uh, when you're working on them. One of the things that it does is it automatically saves all of your work constantly whenever you make any change to the following folder that I can show you using Finder. So first, navigate to your home directory and then into your movies folder. And here, you should see some library folders. In iMovie, if you look on the left side under Libraries, you can see that I have one library here that says iMovie Library, and I have the corresponding file here underneath Movies in Finder. So whenever you're working in iMovie, it's going to save there automatically. If you want to save to an external drive to maybe transfer to another computer and work on it there, one of the ways to do that is to make a copy of the iMovie Library folder, and then uh, open up your external drive paste the item there. Bear in mind that since you're working with uh, uncompressed video files often, these file sizes are going to be very large, so it will take some time to transfer. Once your file has completed its transfer onto your external drive, you want to check it to make sure that you'll be able to open it up on another computer. So for the purpose of doing that now, let me go ahead and close my other windows. I'm going to go ahead and close my iMovie application and we're left with our file on our external drive. So once you've transferred that to the computer that you want to work with it on, go ahead and right click on it or control click on it and then use uh, open with and choose iMovie. Once you open that up it'll take a second to load in and then your media and your library will be visible with everything that you've imported to it just like normal. That's it.